Well, today we're changing a control panel and we're going to fit an Odyssey CK20 control panel just in case you need the Wi Fi. Uh, got to change two bells. One bell's been up here for about 35 years, the other one's only been up here about 10 years. Texicon. Uh, which I've found before with Texicon bell boxes, they tend to last about 10, 15, or 10, 12 years, something like that. But just have a look at that uh, scenery. Okay. Look at me. Anyway, I'll get cracking. Gonna get the bell boxes off first. Um, I'll show you what I do just to get the bell boxes off. It, it ain't rocking science. Um, if I can, if I can get the camera holding still enough, you can see me doing the terminations, etc. Okay. See you in two minutes. Really, really stupidly awkward. That's the extent of the noise coming from the siren. So, I'm going to put the camera down. And just carry on doing a bit of work. Okay, this is a bit of a juggling act. I'm trying to get in focus at the top of a ladder um, but basically uh, there's your fixings I'm gonna I've got to tighten the top one up um, basically the, the wall ain't flat so I need to pack it in I'm gonna put a couple of washers in I ain't gonna put that on screen uh, just get it wired and you can see it wired etc I'll tell you my colours in a bit basically there's the bell box uh, wiring sequence uh, that ain't rocket science to an engineer um, I'm going to crack on and uh, just do it. You'll probably see my colours anyway. So I've got the bell box wired, um, as you'll see, I haven't used ferrules because this gap here is probably about six or seven millimetres at all. So what I do is I actually tin the end of the cables before I put them in. If it's in the panel, I'll put ferrules on the bell box, I'll just tin the ends just so there's no feathery bits, etc. Right, I'm gonna put this panel back together now, this bell, sorry, this bell box back together, uh, and then we close the lid. Right, lid's on. No screws involved, just a twist. Twist of the lock nuts. See both lights are flashing. We got a working bell. Right. I'm going to test the um, solder. Anybody recognise this bell? Uh, sorry, this control panel.
and for number two siren. Same principle again. Um, I did put in my last, uh, my last shot, but you'll be able to see my colours that I use. Um, yeah, this this is one of my old systems years ago. Um, and I can't turn the camera around. Anyway, I'll have to carry on talking like this. Um, basically, we talked 35 years ago. These these systems just put in and um oh yeah all that is and uh, that one was slightly newer and uh, that was replaced about 10 years ago um in a nutshell changed my colors once i moved from uh, my previous alarm company which has been 19 years ago now uh, i mean the colors that i used to use was red black positive negative uh, signal negative is blue tamper return uh, yellow and a variation between white and green for the strobe light but now it's totally changed <laughs> right folks uh, I thought I'd show you this bell box um, like I said it's probably been 35 years uh, just look inside that beauty. See him? Probably getting to the press ups in a bit. Watch. Oh, yeah. He's the nice one to fall on your head. Anyway, I need to get this bell box off. Hi. Sorry about the musical um, chairs and moving about like I do. Um, basically, I've got that to work off at the moment so I'm at the top of that and balancing off the top of that putting a bell box up trying to film it's basically a no-no right crack on I'll put the wires in the panel sorry keep on saying the panel the bell box um, I'm gonna tin them just before it gets um, starts to rain here anyway I'll see you in about 10 minutes These, these are how these um, bell boxes fit. So basically, you turn it with a click, you're good to go. 